Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today should be an interesting uh, flight and review, or flight test review. This will be a compar or comparison flights between the Wakira Runner 250 and the similar Ishin 250 Racer. Now, they're very similar in shape and, and appearance, somewhat appearance, uh, but they do have different capabilities. Uh, the biggest being that this particular quadcopter is configurable with its CC3D open source uh, flight control board. The Wakira, uh, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, at least I haven't really looked into uh, the configuring. It does appear to have a USB port on the side here, but I haven't seen many people uh, doing configuration of their uh, Wakira runners. I'm sure it's being done. I'm probably going to be very wrong there. I'm going to see a lot of comments in the peanut gallery. But uh, what I like about the runner, a lot of people call this all kinds of names, but I kind of like it, uh, especially out of the box. It seems to be a, a flyable quadcopter right out of the box um, that most people or most intermediate immediate flyers, see, they're strong too, <laughs> intermediate flyers can control. This particular quadcopter, the racer, requires quite a bit of fine-tuning of the CC3D board to get it just right uh, to make you happy. In fact, today I'm flying with um, new PID settings that one of my viewers uh, uh, recommended that I try. We're going to give it a shot and see how it works out here uh, with that. Also, today, these particular flights, I am going to be flying strictly FPV. Every time I try to fly these things line of sight, something screwy happens, and they start to get weird angles, and you, they're very hard to maintain orientation on, is what I am trying to say. And I always end up putting them in the ground when I try to fly them line of sight. <laughs> I seem to put them in the ground. We're going to see if flying FPV helps prevent that. So I hope you enjoy this flight of the comparison performance flight between the Wakira Runner and the Ishii Gracer 250. Hope you enjoy these flights. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Wakira runner. Turning on the camera, I got the run cam, my run cam camera. We're armed, and away, and away we, we go. go. Hope you Hope enjoy this flight. flight. Oh, and going, going over, over to FPV. FPV. And there we are. <laughs> yeah, my wife's keeping an eye on it for us. Going down this way a bit. Trying banking at the same time. Let's get some speed on here. A little more speed. Actually, flying FPV seems to be pretty simple with this quadcopter. Coming right over our heads again. It's a pretty simple flyer. Smooth is the word. Smooth and somewhat simple to do with this runner. So it's an enjoyable flyer. I don't know why people call this names. Um, I guess people have problems with it. But I have never had real problems with it. Now I'm only going to fly this for a few minutes because I don't have a... I forgot to turn on my timer. <laughs> but overall, let's try to get some speed on this pass here. Pull it, pull it. Very easy to fly. Okay. Well, that's about all I wanted to do with this one. Just a short flight to show it how it flies in terms of FPV flying. Yeah, it's looking to 
visual. I'm bringing it in. I like the land with visual. So. FPV. Give it some forward pitch. Again, this is the first flight with us since the crash. Yeah, you gotta watch the bank angle on this sucker. It wants to bank. But yeah, it, trying to fly this thing FPV or line of sight is difficult because of that. The way it banks, it really doesn't um, auto level very well. But if you're flying FPV, you can control it. <laughs> but if you're flying at line of sight, I can see it being very difficult. It's still kind of screwy. <laughs> Okay, 11.7 volts. I'm making sure I'm getting back here before that battery dies this time. And the last time I went down pretty low. I ain't gonna let that happen again. Okay, I'm getting uh, starting to get the feel for this thing. As they say in the Starburst commercial, Woo, I feel so alive. <laughs> I gotta do some barrel rolls and before I can say that. <laughs> Still flying FPV, folks. Let's that thing whine as it goes overhead. Put some forward pitch on it. 4 volts, 11.3 volts. So yeah, if you fly this thing, you really want to fly it FPV. Flying it line of sight, it does screw things. Probably does screw things FPV also. But uh, I feel more comfortable flying it FPV. I'm following the roads now. It's a wonderful FPV flyer. Coming down the road. I'm going to fly it until we get below 11 volts. And then I'm going to down here. And then I'm going to land it. Once we reach 11 volts. I'm going to land early. I learned from that last flight, folks. Don't run this until the battery's depleted. Flyer, machine ray, 250 racer. Okay. Let me, let me lock this thing. Both of them.
them are fun flyers. The racer and uh, the runner. Um, I enjoyed them both. Let me put my hat back on, take it from my wife here, take off my cowboy cap. Thank you. But my thoughts, final thoughts on this. Um, the racer seems to be more responsive, um, but you have to be on your toes a little bit. But um, it is, once you're flying FPV, it's much easier to fly than flying line of sight. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, <laughs> you know, flying line of sight with these things is, uh, you'll, you'll end up in the dirt. Um, if you can switch to FPV as soon as possible, it'll be better for you. Uh, in terms of the flying ability, the runner is good for beginner fly or beginner FPV flyers. It's it seems to be more stable than the racer. Um, it's it's fun to fly, but it's not as responsive it seems as the racer seems to be. But again, the racer you have to keep on your toes a bit. But you'll you'll get the hang of it after about one flight if you're an intermediate flyer. So um, overall, I, I like them both almost equally. I'm gonna continue flying them both, but uh, this one here is seems to be uh, more challenging, and as being more challenging, it seems to be I guess more interesting to fly. So that's my thoughts on the two. I hope you enjoyed these flights. This is Quad Copter 101 signing out. Thank you.